Hey there, and welcome to another Let's Play from me, Toasty Fresh. And uh, this time, it's uh, Sad Scrolling Beat Em Up Jackie Chan Adventures Legend of the Dark Hand, which was released on the Game Boy Advance. And just so happens to be uh, my first ever game that I ever played on the Game Boy Advance. I got it bundled in with my uh, ass blue console. I'm not going to go too easy, I've got a medium. Even though I'm a bit rusty, I've not played this in a while. And this was basically a, 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 a spin off of the animated series of the same, well, it was just called Jackie Chan Adventures. And that guy is one of the uh, villains of the piece, the guy with the red hair, I forgot his name now. But, uh,. This game focuses on uh, eight ancient scrolls and uh, the Dark Hand being the bad guys who are attempting to find them to, uh, to train their army to take over the world, basically. The cartoon series was different, it was collecting uh, these stones and it was to bring uh, this dragon statue back to life. Uh, so it deviates from the animated series a little bit, but I was presently surprised when I got this game because even though it seems like one of those cashing kind of games, it is actually quite good and uh, follows in a similar vein to uh, Double Dragon and uh, Streets of Rage, you know, games like that. But actually, it's probably got a bit more depth than those games because those games it was just you had the punch, the kick, the grab and you had um, your little special manoeuvre that you know kick everyone's ass on the screen. This one I'll just go through the controls. You got your basic punch which is A, your kick in which is B I think it was. Uh, Block is uh, the left shoulder button, jump is the right shoulder button, and uh, you've also got a few other moves which I'll go along. Uh, both shoulder buttons together picks things up, but it, it can be a little bit trial and error sometimes. There you go, you got to get it in exactly the right place. And if you do the kick, uh, the punch, uh, sorry, I mean action you'll swing it. If you do the kick action, you'll chuck it. So that's the controls to do the weapons. And as I go along, I'll do the other uh, actions you've got. Like I said, this one is a little bit more in depth. So you've also got double tap will do a rolling attack like that. I don't want to get my ass kicked now. Uh, you've also got double tap backwards and you'll do a backflip attack. Oh. Double tap up and down, we'll do a flip to get you out of a bit of trouble. Uh, do the right shoulder button, jump, you can do your standard flying kick. And also, two together will pick somebody up. I don't know if you got to get rid of the weapon first, but I'll try and pick it up. There you go. You can pick up said people. Uh, where they pass out and just let you hold them for as long as you want to and then you can just chuck them. You can follow that up with a nice kick. A little combo like that. Yeah, let's get rid of Kuma. Uh, uh, the bar, you've got a pretty much a bar like an, an uh, boss character. It starts off green then goes orange then you've got your final red bar. So you got plenty of score. you got a block button as well, so you got to remember sometimes. Don't go crazy with the attacking. Make sure that you, you chuck a few blocks in as well from time to time. But uh, I remember enjoying this game. I got quite far in it. I can't remember exactly how far. I don't know how far I'll actually get into the Let's Play on it. I'll probably do a safe state, because this is an uh, emulation. Uh, which is... It's been a bit of trial and error to get this... Let's play underway because 
my capture software can't capture it for some reason. But it's got a built-in recording. But it meant that uh, I had to get Audacity and record my voice separate and then put them both together. So it's been a bit of an extra hassle for me. Uh, with my usual games I was just uh, using my capture software and that was it. It was just simple press record. So I'm learning a little bit more different tools to use. Now these big guys, you gotta learn that you can't pick them up. So that's a little tip. Don't try and pick them up. Sometimes with the bigger characters it's best because they're slow and lumbering, it's best to block and then just hit them. Jackie Chan is a lot faster. Plus, if, if I, get, if I think a thing that raises this game's bar a little bit is it's, it's got Jackie Chan in it for Christ's sake. You get to be Jackie Chan, so that's a big bonus in my eye. And once you get sort of used to it and you get throwing a few attacks together, it does work. Plus, to say it was just a little game, you know, just like a little cartoon caching game. The, um, the moves, to be honest, are pretty true to Jackie Chan style of uh, fighting if you've ever watched his films and stuff like that, you know. He usually plays someone, he's not a one-man uh, ass-kicking machine, you know, he gets hit himself. And it's not the cleanest fighting style you'll ever see in a lot of his um, films. But uh, hands up, anyone who's um, who used to watch the cartoon. I remember it. I don't. I didn't watch every single episode or anything like that, but I remember it. I think I did watch it a few times. I just remember there being uh, interviews with Jackie Chan af after the cartoon had finished, and I sort of remember there being a. Uh, you have to have an English sort of second in command. Was uh, this English guy, the white hair, looked kind of like uh, Malfoy's dad of um, Harry Potter. Of course, I think the cartoon was out before the Harry Potter films were ever mentioned. And it's not actually the first ever uh, Jackie Chan game. There was even uh, the PS1. Jackie Chan stunt master before that. This is the first kind of like sub boss. So you get like kind of three sub bosses levels. And they each represent uh, the animated series, uh, what do you call it? Henchmen. So that's one of them with the uh, orange shades. Like an Asian uh, Tom Cruise there, with those little orange shades on, Mission Impossible style. Can't wait, Kumar. And, uh, everyone's wearing suits. Jackie Chan's in a rather sensible ensemble. Looks like something from Marks and Spencer's. Yeah, but the thing that gives it this game a little bit of depth is later on you, you collect this, the scrolls that you're looking for. You find them throughout the level, and they'll, gi they'll give you extra moves. Like uh, the first one you get is, a, I think it's just a punching attack. But later on you'll get like a spinning kick if you press both attack and punch and kick together. I think you get like a spinning attack or something like that. But I don't know. I'm just gonna load up, play through the first level first. And then if you guys are interested, I'll maybe do a save state and then show the other levels, see how far I can get. I'll probably even show my fails as well. Like, as you can tell, I'm not the world's best video game player by any stretch of the imagination. You know, I mean, I have been hit a few times. I'm not claiming to be any expert in this. It was a long time ago I played this game. But yeah, just kick everything. I've not picked anyone up for a while. 
One thing is that I keep forgetting which button is uh, kick. Because I, I set it up wrong the first time I played this game. So it's confused me now. And I think that's... That guy was called Flynn. He was an uh, Irish guy. He's one of the other ones. Although none of those characters actually appear, they just send the henchmen after you. I don't know if in the later levels you do actually see them, you do actually show their face or not. Fools up. Cool, that was a sweet hit then. That's one thing I liked about this game, it does feel kind of sweet when you uh, just catch someone with a little bit of an uh, combo. Like you throw them and then you hit them with an arrow. Uh, Hit him with a nice flying kick as well. Collect the little rice balls. I'm actually tempted to say chicken. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm taking for some reason, even though it's rice. It's not. It's not chicken. That was a good little side game as well, uh, Tekken Force. And Tekken 3. So that's the kind of era that I was from. I mean, I don't know, well, the first games I ever had experience with were my brothers. They had a Commodore 64 and an Amiga, I forget which one it was now. Amiga 500 or something, 500 plus. It got handed down to me. But, uh, my own actual console that I well, part owned was the SNES. PS1. But uh, at the moment I'm just playing games that sort of bring back memories for me, like this was my first ever Game Boy Advance game, so that's why I kind of looked back and thought I'll do a, a little playthrough of it. So like I said, if you guys are interested, you want to see any more of this game, then uh, just give me a holler in the comments. I forgot what this pug ugly guy's goal, but he, he only sends his big goons after you. Ah, oh, that's what I mean. These guys are gonna watch out. You gotta make sure you, um... Oh. Let's get out of there. That's one bad thing on this game. Don't. Any side scrolling beat him up, make sure you don't get caught in between two people. But for big guys, these guys are quite fast actually. Hakfu, that's the guy with the Super Saiyan hairdo. And that's your first scroll, the Yin scroll. Allows you to do a triple punch combo. One punch. Although it doesn't look like some kind of ultimate uh, Kung Fu move, to be honest, it looks like a, a bunch of drunken haymakers when you actually see it. And I'm gonna get owned by these uh, goons here. By a lot of red shirts. Well, got, them guys are just punch comb fodder. But uh, I'm still getting used to the old. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Hack Fu. The only problem with this guy is that he's got these little goons with him. Distract you. Basically, what you gotta do is, I think I remembered, sort of run away. Oh, 
Run away, run away, run away. Make his goons come near you. He'll only walk. Do that. And then pick off. Pick off his goons. And he's actually easy on his own. This, the music scares you. And his little one suit. But just all you need to do is block. Block hit. Block hit. Block hit. And basically, this is it. Kind of like an itchy and scratchy cartoon. They fight. They fight. They fight. They fight. They fight. Punch, punch, punch. Kick, kick, kick. It's the Jackie and Hack Fu show. Basically, that's it. That's how you beat this guy. Once you figure that out, it's the easiest boss in the world. And just keep kicking him in the nuts. Block, kick him in the nuts. Well, this is that. And he's going. Super Sand's weakening. And that's it. Hack Fu has been hacked down. And there you have it. And we're a brown belt. I'll have to remember to do me uh, laundry then. But yeah, that's basically it. That's um, the first level of uh, the Jackie Chan adventure, Legend of the Lost Scrolls. If you guys want to see more, hit up the comments and let me know and I'll uh, certainly deliver for you. But until next time.